In this example, we're given a function, we have a polynomial here, and we're given a value for k. And what it is we want to do is we would like to take this polynomial function, and we would like to divide it and break it down into the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder. So let's go ahead and use synthetic division, and we'll take this 2 fifths, put it out front, and then let's go ahead and work this division, and we'll write this polynomial in its form. Okay, so with synthetic division, we're concerned about the coefficients. So 5, negative 2, negative 10, 16, and negative 4. And this guy right here will be the remainder. So I like to put it in a little box to kind of keep it separate. So for synthetic, bring down this first guy, and we have 5. So 2 fifths times 5 is positive 2. So we'll put that there. Negative 2 plus 2, we'll add this column, gives us 0. 2 fifths times 0 is 0. When I add that column, I have negative 10. 2 fifths times negative 10 will be negative 4. When I add this column, I have 12. And then 2 fifths times 12, well, that looks like 24 fifths. So I'll write that there. And I need to add this. Well, this is a whole number, this negative 4. So I could rewrite it as negative 20 over 5, and that would give me the common denominators. So negative 20 fifths plus 24 fifths will be 4 fifths. And that's that remainder there. And so this remainder 4 fifths ultimately will function as my r up here. So let's go ahead and rewrite this polynomial now in the form that we're seeking. So f of x equals, we have x minus k. So I'm going to say x minus that 2 fifths that we divided by. And then it's going to be this quotient, okay? So I need to take this polynomial piece that was our quotient and go ahead and write it. So this is our constant, our linear term, our quadratic term, and our cubic term. So I'll say 5x cubed minus 10x plus 12, and that's this polynomial. And then our remainder comes afterwards, and that's plus 4 fifths. So I have rewritten this polynomial f of x given this value of k for the division, and I rewrote it as the divisor, x minus k, times this quotient, and then I added the remainder on the end. So that's what this will look like when we can rewrite this.